right everyone welcome back to the channel and another grocery haul video so we have quite a bit to go over here on the table today so this is a combination of tom thumb brookshire's kroger amazon and walmart so we'll go over all of that uh in due time so the first thing i got here are four packages of the kool-aid jammers these were on sale for two dollars and fifty cents a piece and this is what my son takes in his lunches every day. So since Amber is at home, she primarily drinks water now uh, with flavor packs in it. But Axton still takes one of these per day. So I got one cherry, one charcoalberry, one strawberry kiwi, and one tropical punch. Then at Tom Thumb today, I picked up one thing of the Nature's Own Butter Bread. That is one of our favorites, and it was on sale for $1.99. I got two of these carnation fudge kits. Um, it's got everything in it to make fudge. And these were already marked down 50% off. And looks like all you have to add to it is the butter. So we will do those sometime. Uh, also at Tom Thumb this week, I'm trying to move some things around here. I got Rotel for 88 cents a can. So I stocked up on seven cans of that. The Libby's Pure Pumpkin was 99 cents a can, so I got five of those. Le Sure Peas were still on sale for 88 cents, so I got another seven cans of those. So we're fully stocked up on these items for quite a while. And then I went ahead and picked up five more of the Jet Puff Marshmallow Cream while they were still on sale for 99 cents each. So that is everything that I got at Tom Thumb. Then at Kroger, I got one five pound gold potatoes. Those were on sale for $1.99. I got this package of pork chops that were on clearance. They were normally $12.30 marked down for $7.86. So I'm going to get those packaged and put in the freezer. Then I picked up three things of butter because I used all my butter when I was making Christmas cookies. These were on sale for, I can't remember if it was $2.49 or $2.99 a piece, but I picked up three of those. One thing of bananas for the kids. Um, oh, sorry, at Tom Thumb, I also got milk. I got two things of milk uh, because they were $1.99. So that did come from Tom Thumb. Also at Kroger, they had the jelly cranberry sauce in their brand or the whole cranberry sauce in Ocean Spray, both three for a dollar. So I picked up three of each of those because I've seen some interesting recipes that use cranberry. And so I decided to go ahead and grab those and then I would have them whenever I want to try out those recipes. Now, the next thing that I got is a ton of ice cream. <laughs> this all came from Kroger. And the reason for that is I had some coupons and then also I'm trying out Shopkick. So all of this was on Shopkick, three, limit of three times each. I didn't get three of everything, but I'll show you what I did pick up. I picked up three of the haagen Caramel Cone because these are our favorite. And so it was a limit of three on that. I got three of the Oreo bars because I thought the kids would enjoy those and it was a limit of three. Now I could have got three each on these, but I only got one a piece because we haven't tried these ones yet. The butter cookie cone in vanilla and the butter cookie cone in the chocolate. I also got three of the pint size ice creams. I got two cookies and cream and one Rocky Road. Again, it was a limit of three on Shopkick. So once I see the kicks come in, and I see that I get rewarded for all of this. Um, I'll take it off of my grocery budget total and that should work out pretty nicely. So this was a really good deal on Shopkick, but I'm brand new to that app. I've never used it before. And of course, when I submitted it, it surprise, surprise had technical difficulties. So it submitted my, first of all, it would not submit my receipt. Then it submitted my receipt multiple times. So at this point, I'm just in a, stand still until we see what happens with that one. Now over here, I got this on Amazon yesterday. We had to order some batteries and this popped up that uh, it was under $30 for the 72 count. And I'm almost out of my Christmas blend coffee. So I'll have to go back to the breakfast blend on it. So I did go ahead and get that. Then let me scoot that one over here. I did need to restock flour and sugar after baking all of those Christmas cookies. So at Walmart, I picked up another 25 pound bag of flour. It is under $10 and then under it is 25 pounds of sugar. 
it is under $20. This has gone up quite a bit. I believe it was $18, but it's still a really good deal for 25 pounds. So those will get put in the buckets when I'm ready to do that. I'm not ready to do it today. But again, that's everything that I got. We're going to hope that the shop kit deal works out. Um, if it doesn't, I will email them and ask them like, hey, it says up to three times. Why did I only get credit for one or, or how does this work? because I am not seeing anything popping up on it yet. But we'll, we'll figure that one out. So this is everything I got for this week. All good stock up deals. So I will be back. Um, I'm not going to come back with the totals until we see what happens with the shop kick situation. And then I will be back and we'll go over the totals for this week. All right, so we are here with the last part of this grocery haul that we need to get put away. And then we will be filming some more fun videos for you today as well. Mr. Axty Poo is here today. Hi. Say hi. Hi. What'd you get for Christmas this year? Oh my God, Holy War. I got two of the sets. The million head on the whole mm -hmm. stand. This little set is the time fire, right? Time, time bomber, time bomb or time mm -hmm. fighter. And did oh, you yeah. get some Funko Pops? Yes. And you want to show off your new shoes? Yes. These are Axton's new shoes. It looks like PS5. <laughs> they do look like a PS5, don't they? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna show everybody what we got left for this week, okay? Uh, okay. So this was the last of the grocery haul stuff that was actually purchased before Christmas that we just need to get put away, and then we'll go over totals for that week. So I picked up two of these Kinder's Butcher's Brine Kit uh, for turkeys. I have two turkeys in my freezer, so these will be good to use for that. Uh, stove top, they had on manager special at my Kroger, three for a dollar. And then Ibotta was giving back 50 cents a piece, so those were completely free. Got some Oju gravy mix. I use this when I make my French dip sandwiches and they had it clearanced out at 63 cents a packet. So picked up a few of those at Tom Thumb. I actually did not pay for these. My mom got those for me. So that doesn't count in the budget. Um, got two packets of Sour Broughton. This I have to order from Amazon in a four pack and then my mother and I split it. So that will go in to the budget there. Got one thing of the Pillsbury banana bread. If you haven't checked this deal out, it is on sale and then you get a rebate through Ibotta and there's a rebate through Kroger cash back. So that makes that one a very good deal. Got five more of the Keebler cookies to put in the stock up area. The deal on this got even better. I bought a reset and then Kroger cash back reset at a higher amount. So these were a money maker as well as the stovetop. I got three boxes of Ritz crackers. It is the time of year where we'll have some just cheese, meat, and cracker trays around the house. And these had an Ibotta as long as you bought three, and they were on sale. So that made those a good deal. Oreo ice cream sandwiches. I bought three boxes of these. They were on sale for $3.99 a piece. And then it was actually Shopkick, the new one that I've kind of started using, that was giving back 900 kicks a piece. So that made these, I want to say it was either... 25 or 30 cents a box on these so that was a really good deal and then i got two of these smith filled pork loins that are the roasted garlic and herb they were closing out this particular flavor so they had these marked down for 5.99 a piece and these are the big pork loins they're not the thinner uh smaller ones these are quite a good size they would easily feed uh, my family of four plus when my parents are here so that is everything else we got for the week before Christmas, I am going to add up the totals and come back and get that closed out for you. All right, everyone, I'm here to wrap up the last week of grocery hauls before Christmas. So I should have already had this video put out for you guys, but life has been a little crazy. So um, I underestimated the Christmas chaos that was going to unfold in my house and I should have known better than that right I mean we all know how crazy it gets around the holidays but we took off I've actually been off work since midweek before the holidays but uh, it just got crazy it got away from me but um, I have finished showing you everything so now we're going to go over the totals for the week um, again this is the week that ended 
before Christmas. So technically those sales just actually ended Tuesday. This is Thursday. So I'm not that far behind, but um, I would have just liked to have had this out to you sooner. So I do apologize for that. Um, this week, so we ended up with six hauls all together. So I showed you a bunch up front and then the second Kroger one. So I primarily want to talk about the Kroger hauls. But um, total for the week for groceries, we spent $135.33, which was $85.33 over what I like to spend in a week. But part of, there's a few reasons for that. Number one is I've restocked on the flour and the sugar from Walmart. That was $28. Uh, but as you know, I like to buy it in the big 25 pound bags. That lasts me like a year. I mean, I could have waited till January to put that per to get that purchase, but I was already in Walmart due to holiday shopping. So it was like, let's just get it while we're here because I don't like going to our Walmart. <laughs> it is very, um, we live in a small town. It only really has two grocery stores. So they are very, very congested. We have a Walmart and a an HEB. And so I like to go to the other areas kind of between my work and home. So if I'm in Walmart, I'd rather just go ahead and get something. That's why you see when I go to HEB, I just go ahead and pick up all the things I like at HEB, whether I need them or not, because I don't want to have to go back to HEB. <laughs> so that was $28 of it. $29.94 of it was Amazon because I picked up the community coffee because it was on sale on Amazon before Christmas. And if I hadn't done that, I'm fixing to run out anyways. And then I would have had to have spent more after Christmas. So went ahead and just picked that up. You could even call that a gift to myself. You don't even have to call it groceries if you want to, because again, I'm the only one in the house that drinks coffee, but we do include it in the grocery budget. So, <coughs> excuse me, the two Kroger sets that you saw me get, that's unusual for me. I did that first big huge haul that had all of that ice cream in it because of Shopkick. I was introduced to Shopkick, decided to try it out, it did not work correctly. I had to submit a ticket. I had to wait for them to reimburse me for everything, but it did end up working out. I got all of my points and everything. So that haul um, dropped down from 70 something dollars to 1558. <laughs> so that's amazing. My freezers are so stocked with ice cream and everything. And my kids love that. We're in Texas. It's still nice enough to have ice cream. Uh, it's not too cold or anything. And then that second grocery haul that you saw me get at Kroger, it was about $50 and it dropped down to $15.31 after all of the savings. So that's why I went ahead and picked up those things. Like those are deals that you really, if you have the money and the capability to do it, don't walk away from things like that. So that second haul that I showed you, I mean, the two pork loins, and like one other thing. I mean, that's all I paid for out of all of that after you look at the rebates and everything. So I, I kind of wanted to zero in on those two Kroger hauls, okay? Because my totals were $114.74 on those two hauls alone. But after all of the rebates and savings and everything that were credited back to me, I saved $83.85. So I saved 73.1% on those two Kroger grocery hauls. So that's a really good deal, like a really good deal. And so, yeah, we're over for the week. There's reasons for that. Um, again, I told y'all December would be like my last stock up month. And then going into January, we're going to change things up. So that's coming. But I did just want to give you all the totals for this week. So again, 135.33. Total for grocery, $85.33 over. <laughs> that's not very good. Um, and nothing on household. So that's where we stand for this video. I will be back with the last grocery haul of December in another video. I'm also going to bring you a video of all the things that I pick up for after Christmas clearance. Uh, so be stay, you know, stay tuned, be looking for that one. But um, again, I hope you like these videos. I hope you will subscribe to the channel. We have some changes coming in January. Um, I am still on the fence. I've told you guys before, like I don't know how I want to work my budget for 2024. Um, 2023 went pretty well for a while and then it started, I mean, just inflation kept going, shrinkflation kept going and things got harder and harder to do in the budget that I wanted to stick to. So I don't know where I go um, 
next year. I do know consistently for 2023, about the second half of the year, I've been over, and it's crazy because this is totally unplanned, I've been over by right around the same amount every single month. So that tells me where my budget needs to be if I want to continue doing things the way that I do them right now for 2024. But we'll have a video on that. So stay tuned. Be looking for that one. It'll talk about how we did in 2023 and what we're planning for 2024. So that's all I have for you for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed this week's grocery haul video and the next one will be coming at you soon. See you later, guys. Bye.